In this video, I'll show you how to use your phone acting as a transmitter to control the brightness and on off of a light by using a Bluetooth module connected to Arduino. Now let's see how this works. On, off, on, off, and let's change the brightness. Let's make it brighter and dimmer. Off again. I'm using an OpenSmart Bluetooth module here, which is um, uh, a slave module, which means it's designed to operate as a receiver. So it's not designed to basically communicate between other Bluetooth devices as a transmitter. Now to make this work, we have four pins. The red lead there is connected to the VCC on the module, and uh, the red lead goes to Arduino's 5 volt or 3.3 volt pin. The brown lead there is uh, connected to the module's ground and the other end of the brown lead goes to Arduino's ground. Now my two uh, signal pins, the yellow and orange there, they are my transmitter and receiver leads. Now it's very important that when you connect this up to Arduino, you have the transmitter on one end connected to the receiver at the other end and vice versa. So. They have to be opposites. So for on this one, for instance, the yellow lead is the receiver on the module. It connects to the transmitter pin on Arduino. And my orange lead here on the module is the transmitter uh, pin. It connects to the receiver pin on Arduino. So let's have a look at the light circuit. So here we have the red lead here, which is my positive. It connects to my positive end of my NAD and the negative end of my NAD connects to the resistor which connects to the black lead here which goes to ground. Okay let's start to wire this up. So here I have my NAD and my breadboard. Now remember that with the NADs the longer end is the positive and the short leg is the negative. Let's insert that now onto the breadboard in a suitable location. Alright, now I'll connect my red lead to the positive end of my LED, making sure it's in the same row. There it is. So that is on the same row as my thing, so there's a, an electrical connection there. Now I will insert the resistor. I'm using a 50 ohm resistor for my white LED. Now these typical uh, white LEDs have a forward voltage of 3.6 volts therefore we have 1.4 volts going through the resistor and to get our current down to 20 milliamps we ideally need a resistor of 70 ohms. I'm using 50 ohms that's good enough for this demonstration. So I put it in there, put it in there and there we are. So that resistor now is connected to the negative end of my LED. It doesn't matter if I put my resistor before or after the LED. Um, the resistor will control the current for this entire part of this series part of the circuit. Now I will add my black lead and it will go to this end of the resistor. So these two things are connected here and now I'll connect the whole thing to my Arduino board and I've chosen pin 3 on my Arduino board because it's a PWM pin which means I can fade or change the brightness of my LED so you can tell which pins are PWM they're the ones with the tilde symbol tilde there, tilde there, tilde there and more tildes over here so I've chosen pin 3 if you don't use a PWM pin, all you can do is turn your light on and off at full brightness or no light at all. So there'll be pin 4 for instance, but I'm going to use PWM which is pin 3 for my example. Make sure you put the red into there, that will act as my positive supply. And now my negative, my black one, will go into ground, which is GND over here or G and D over there. This one will do. Okay, so that's how that looks for the LED circuit. 
Now let's focus on the connecting the Bluetooth module. Okay, now let's start to connect the Bluetooth module to Arduino. Now keep in mind that Arduino has two dedicated TX and RX pins here. These are the hardware serial transmit and receive pins. You don't have to use them. Um, if you do use them, you have trouble uploading your sketches to Arduino because when you do want to upload to Arduino your sketch, you have to disconnect the connection from your module to these two pins. Now to bypass that issue, which is not a big deal, you can use a serial uh, software uh, library. So in that case, if you use a serial software library, you can use any digital pin for your TX and RX. I'm going to use a serial software library for my demonstration. Now when wiring things up, it's always a good practice to connect your red lead first. Your red is a universal color to indicate positive, so my, which is my power supply, so therefore I put it into the VCC here. Here's my red lead, and I connect the other end to Arduino's 5 volt or 3 volt pin, which is over here. There. Make sure that's correct. And then only after doing that, you make sure that's in the right spot, you connect your um, negative lead. In this case, I'm using a brown one, a brown ca cable. I put my negative brown cable into ground, any ground will do. And going to the module, I make sure that goes to ground here. Now you can see it's powered up. Now when you see that flashing green light, it means it's waiting for a signal. It's not connected to any device yet. When it's a, when it's a static green, when the green is steady and not blinking, it means it is connected. Now the next step is connect the signal cables. I'm using red and orange, uh, orange and yellow. It doesn't matter the color really. So let's start off with the lower one, which is the transmit on the module. Okay, that's orange on the module, which is transmit. It will go to receive on the Arduino. And on the Arduino, I'm going to use pin 7 for receive. So, uh, there. Alright. So the orange lead goes from receive pin 7 on Arduino to transmit on the Bluetooth module. Now I connect my yellow lead, it will link up the receive on the module to transmit pin on Arduino, which I'm choosing to be pin 8. Okay, so that pretty much is what you need to do to get this thing working. Okay, so let's look at the uh, software for the sketch. Um, so what we have here is the inclusion for the library that for software serial that allows us to use a serial connection that bypasses the hardware. So I'm chosen pin 7 for the receive on the Arduino, which means transmit on the module and pin 8 on Arduino, which is the transmit, which connects up to receive on the module. Beneath that, we have a few variables. Uh, we've got um, a Boolean variable for turning the, the light on and off. So when it's on, it's in the true state. When it's off, it's in the false state. Uh, we start off in the false state, which is off. And then this one here is all about um, determining the brightness of the LED so uh, initially uh, actually the limits of the, are between 1 and 9 1 being very dim and 9 being bright um, and this particular variable is about um, telling the Arduino board which pin will connect to the LED which I'm using PWM pin number 3 
Uh, to get things started, very simple, just um, uh, for the serial output, just use that, which gives me that text. And to communicate with the Bluetooth device and get data from it, I have this line here. I've given the um, instance of the software library the name MindBT, my Bluetooth, with two um, parameters there, which are the pins for RX and TX respectively. Uh, so make sure we've got enough data throughput. So I'm using 9600 for both. And for the loop, um, you don't really need many lines really. Um, the, to get things going, you really only need two, two lines to read from the Bluetooth. The first one here is to check if the Bluetooth is available. If it's greater than zero, it's, a, it's basically reading something. And then once you know there's something to be read, you have the next line down here, which is read the Bluetooth device. And that's it. Very, very simple. So in the code here, I basically um, programmed my um, Android app that when <coughs> ASCII character 87, which matches up with W, capital W, is detected by the Arduino and Bluetooth device, um, I'm going to increase the brightness down here, okay, up to a value of 9. And then if the character S is detected over here, it means we're dimming it down. So therefore, I reduce the LED power factor by 1 down to a minimum of 1 over here. And in this line here, we are turning the LED light on. So um, character number 65 matches up with the letter A. And the letter S stands for turning off, which is character number 83. And I'm turning the LED off there. And these lines of code um, control the LED. Those ones there. So if the LED is on, then display the brightness by the power factor variable here and multiply it by this thing here. So the maximum value of this variable is 9. So 9 multiplied by that gives me the maximum byte value of 255. So I'm allowing my brightness to be controlled in nine steps from value one in that variable to value nine in that variable. Now if the if this is set to off, then turn off the light. That means low there. So make sure when you're doing PWM stuff, you use analog write instead of digital write. Now down here. I'm basically giving some data to the serial output so I know what my variables values are okay which gives me that stuff over there and to get the serial data output I've chosen to show the, the timestamp over here which gives me the time uh, and that scrolls as well so now it's time to see how this thing works and connect it to the Android app Okay, so now let's connect the Bluetooth module to the Android phone. I'm using the, the Android app called Arduino Bluetooth Controller. So what I need to do is find the, the Bluetooth module and in this case it comes up as a JDY32SPP. SPP stands for Serial Port Protocol. So let's connect. And the choose a mode, I'm going to use this mode here. And it connects. So, as you can see now, my Bluetooth module is no longer blinking, it has a static green light. Alright, so I program these buttons here to control the light. So, the, the top button here is um, matches the letter W. This matches the letter uh, A, and that matches letter S, and that matches letter um, Z. So it turns to on, make it brighter, make it dimmer. Off, on. So to program these buttons here, you just go to the 
settings and there it is there you just specify what character you want the each of these buttons to represent so there it is um, A for the square and so on and so letter A for instance matches up with ASCII value number 65 which is that number there so 65 is letter A and for instance letter S is number 83 which is S there so that's how that works so and as for the serial output let's try this I'll turn the um, LED off and now it's off let's turn it back on and it goes back on let's change brightness and it's fully bright let's dim it now and it's dim now what are the applications for this particular uh, arrangement so we can use our phone to control say the direction of a servo we could use uh, this arrangement to control the speed of a motor and in other words you can use this arrangement here to control a remote control now keep in mind there's many different modules out there they all have different specifications and standards uh, the Bluetooth itself has evolved over many years it's now up to Bluetooth um, version 4.2 I think for BLE so you will find that your modules won't be compatible with every app that you download so here you can see it's just a few of the uh, number of apps I've downloaded to connect to Bluetooth I've only found that this app here works with Bluetooth my Bluetooth module here as well as this one here uh, this one seems to time out, but this one seems to stay on, so that's more reliable. So that's one I've just been showing in this demonstration.